Uptronic has unveiled a new workforce robot named Apollo. The machine is designed to work in environments designed for and directly alongside humans. The android was initially intended to move and carry cases and totes in logistics and manufacturing settings. But now it could do a lot more. What is Apollo exactly? Apollo is our latest humanoid robot. Sometimes you'll hear us call it a general purpose robot. This is something that is going to be your friend. You're going to rely on these things to do all the things you don't want to do. So what are some of its capabilities? We've designed Apollo with roughly human morphology, human range of motion, the same height, the same weight as a human. We need to make robots much more versatile than what they are today. The reason that it's humanoid is because we've built the world for humans. We have a big labor shortage here in the U.S. So where Apollo is going to start is in warehouses like you kind of see here. It can lift about 55 pounds. It operates on about a four hour battery and you can change the battery out so you can keep it running 22 hours a day is what we're targeting. What would you say to people who are watching this, they see Apollo and they're worried, Apollo could take my job. If we compare humans with robots, then the robots can take the portion of the work that drives people out of those industries. So instead of you unloading trucks in the hot Texas sun, you're managing a fleet of robots that's unloading the trucks for you. And you're learning new skills that become applicable across a range of different industries. But where we hope it to ultimately go is one day versions of Apollo could be in your home or eventually on the moon or Mars. To help with those cosmic aspirations, Aptronic has teamed up with NASA. My hope and my dream is that we will have general purpose robots fielded in space within the next 10 years. But the biggest obstacle right now, combining and refining mobility and dexterity. The co-founders of Aptronic are no strangers to that, having worked on NASA's Valkyrie robot a decade ago. Valkyrie, capable of dexterous manipulation and, and walking, carrying items, opening doors, but there are limitations, for example, being able to move very quickly and precisely. We really need systems that have more than one skill that are flexible and adaptable. Aptronic isn't alone in the rush to build a humanoid robot. Tesla has a humanoid bot of its own, and Hyundai-owned Boston Dynamics has Atlas. But Atlas relies on hydraulics for its movement. Hydraulics are very powerful, but it's not safe to be around. So our bet at Aptronic was that electric humanoids were going to be the future. So the first phase for us was to focus on performance of electric motors or actuators and try to get them up to par with what you see with a lot of hydraulic systems and they're aiming for this everyday robot to have an everyday price. What would you say is the price point for Apollo? The goal is for it to be less than the price of your standard car. These have to be affordable, they have to be accessible. What would you envision a future Apollo being capable of doing? The next step is to build a more hardened version of this that is really kind of designed for scale manufacturing. I think 20 years from now, much like the computer, we're gonna look back and think, how do we ever get by without the help of these machines?